Chook here with Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Well, a brand new ammo is out and I'm very excited about it. We got a hint of this a couple months ago and I promise not to say anything, but Buffalo Boar designed a new dangerous game 10 millimeter round um, and the story is that they gave to Alaska Ammo is that it was specifically designed for Alaska and brown bear protection. And I believe it because 10 millimeter is so popular in Alaska. I've said it before, the, the Glock 20s fly off the shelf. Everybody's buying their Glock 20s and everybody's using 10 millimeters. So Buffalo Boar got on the game. I didn't realize they designed it with Lehigh Defense. So this is the Dangerous Game Heavy 10 millimeter, 190 grain mono, men, mono metal rounds. Uh, it's going 1200 feet per second. 607 foot pounds. Um, I've saved a few and we're going to get another box and uh, Chuck from Alaska Ballistics is going to do uh, some more videos with me on this and run it through his chronometer. So we'll see what we get. But big thanks to Alaska Ammo. Check out uh, alaskaammogroup.com and big thanks to them for letting me use this. They, they gave me a box of this and they kind of gave me a heads up about it before it came out. It's only been out for a few days. Um, so I was in a rush and I went out to my range the other evening and this is the test I did. I've got some ballistic gel, roughly 24 inches of ballistic gel. Um, I put some padded uh, material in front of it, some burlap and uh, some water jugs in the back. So I did that test and then I had to go back to my roots. I, I gained some notoriety early on in the channel by shooting bear skulls and I've got a big black bear skull. Hammerheart has been blowing me off and has not boiled it like he had promised to. So I got to make room in the freezer for caribou meat this weekend. So I went and I decided to test this new dangerous game heavy 10 millimeter mono metal bullets on my big black bear skull. Now, YouTube isn't gonna like this, but uh, it's a, it was a good sized bear. This is a 300 plus pound black bear, way bigger than the baby bears that Chuck shoots. So I thought it was good. It was also partially frozen. So I want to put that out there too, is that I had just pulled it out of the, fro the freezer earlier that day. It has been 80 degrees here in Alaska. So, you know, half of it melted, but it still had a frozen core. So let's see what happened. How we can do. That was a good shot. Well, as you can see, Chuk is finally a good shot. And we went all the way through both blocks of ballistic gel. I forgot to put my material. I was gonna put some material in. And we penetrated this. And I think we have the bullet in there. I don't see where it came out. Oh, uh, maybe not. We'll see if we can find it. No, oh, no, it blew out right down there. Okay, I'll see if I can find it, but uh, good penetration. Okay, that time, definitely got one bullet going right there. And where the heck did the second bullet go? Anyways, I know I penetrated the bear. Oh yeah, went all the way through a frozen bear skull. So we got exit hole right there. I don't see the other one thing is so nasty might be right there but that's a definite exit hole all the way through 
a big size frozen bear skull and shredded our water bottle once again. I'll see if I can find any of these bullets. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I didn't recover any of the bullets because the penetration was so good. I really wanted to recover some of the bullets, but uh, what really impressed me is even with my poor shooting skills, I will admit Chuck's a better shot than me. Um, when I hit it, the there was no deviation of the bullets. Uh, typically, even in extreme penetrators, uh, I, I need to get a longer block of gel, but when I've got two blocks of gel sitting together, as soon as it hits that layer in between, I usually get deviation from the extreme penetrators, but these things went all the way through both blocks and just shredded the water bottles and the water jugs, and I wasn't able to recover any. As for the, the black bear skull, I was impressed with that. We got clear penetration right through that skull and it was frozen, partially frozen, so that was extra dense and hard, and I was not able to recover that either, shredded the water bottle behind it, but just right through the bear skull, you'd have no problem killing a charging bear if you could get a straight shot at it, but just with the capacity, uh, the ability to get you know, many shots off accurately, I think 10 millimeter, Semi-auto is the way to go. I'm leaning towards that. And I think that this Buffalo Board new dangerous game, DM, heavy 10 millimeter, uh, flat-nosed, mono metal is the way to go. There's some other interesting specs about it, um, and you can read it on their website, but I'm pretty impressed. I'm, I'm a fan. I'll be getting more of this at Alaska Ammo. Thanks, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe and help me out on Patreon if you can. It's true. Your friend in the field.